Friends, our reflection today is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, from verse 20 to 25. Jesus said, The kingdom of God is not coming with signs to be observed, nor will they say, Behold, here it is, or there, for behold, the kingdom of God is in your midst. Jesus' words to the Pharisees we are surely among the most shocking of all his teachings, second only to his declaring people's sins forgiven. How could the kingdom, the promised era of God's triumph over all his enemies, possibly be present while the promised land remained occupied by the oppressors of the Jewish people? Who but a madman would say that God's promises had been fulfilled? But the truth is that wherever Jesus is present, wherever he is honored and loved, the kingdom of God is present. It still has to come in all its fullness at the end of time. But each one of us who gives our hearts to Jesus and strives to follow his commands can testify to the blessings of that kingdom in our lives here and now. Nowhere is the kingdom of God more evident than when God's people gather to celebrate the Eucharist. It's here, as we commemorate the central feast of the kingdom, that we most closely experience the worship, the love, and the power that we will one day know in heaven. As we gather for the celebration of the Eucharist, we begin by asking forgiveness for our sins. Then, cleansed and released, we join the angels in singing heaven's praises. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. What better way to prepare for the proclamation of the gospel? What better way to allow the Spirit to speak to our hearts, enlighten our minds, and show us the beauty of the kingdom that is among us. Then, as we recall Jesus' death and the resurrection in the Eucharist, we can unite ourselves to Jesus intimately and experience our dignity as co-heirs with him of the kingdom. Friends, what love Jesus shares with those who believe and trust too glorious for words in this intimacy with the God of the universe. Jesus' own body and blood, soul and divinity are at the heart of the kingdom and available to all of us. May we never lose sight of this precious gift of the kingdom. Let us pray. Open up you gates, O ancient portals, and let the King of glory enter. Then, renewed, filled, and strengthened, we will go forth in peace and love to preach the good news of the kingdom even as we wait in joyful hope for your return in glory. Amen. Thank you very much, my dear friends, for subscribing to this channel. And if you have not, please help and subscribe. God bless you.